Yo, what's up, everybody? It's me, Wolfie Extras. Today, welcome back, by the way. Uh, <laughs> today, we're going to be looking at the MCC Reddit, all right? It's time for a Reddit roundup, because I forgot, question mark? I probably thought about doing a Reddit roundup and then realized we are in, like, Jan well, we're in February now, but we were in January for the majority of this. And then, uh, you know, MCC Reddit activity is usually at an all-time low around these times because they're on break. But we're back now, uh, only like two months late. I think this was the last one that I did, which was posted on, I don't even know what date it doesn't want to show me, but it was two months ago. Either way, today we're gonna be looking at the top posts of the last month. If Reddit has an option to do the past two months, please let me know. It would have been really useful. I did not try to look it up. So this is what it is for now. Anyways, starting from the top, smallish beans, one more hermit at MCC. Yeah, if you didn't see already, I made a video about this a little bit ago. There were two new members added to the Hermitcraft SMP for Hermitcraft season 10, being smallish beans, Joel, and Skizzle Man, I'm pretty sure at least. Uh, it's been a while since I've uh, considered or thought about that. Either way, uh, obviously Joel is already in uh, MCC, so we have a new best hermit craft member, I guess, in MCC, and uh, also just one new hermit in general. Very interesting to see how this will progress. I'm sure that for like a pride event or whatever event in the future, if there's a weaker one, they'll probably try to run a full Hermitcraft team because I don't think with the current balancing of MCC, it's possible to make a fair one, but maybe they'll change things up. I don't know. Either way, uh, very nice to see uh, Joel uh, join Hermitcraft and nice to see another Hermits in the event, I, I guess. Uh, <laughs> next up, oh yeah. There's also gonna be some posts that I might, uh, this not specifically being one of them. I had a very quick skim through because currently there's a situation unfolding on Twitter that I did not want to talk about too much. So I'll briefly discuss it uh, whenever we get to the post, but there will be some uh, not so fun topics. Either way, uh, yeah. So Fruitberries made a tweet uh, after playing in Pandora's box for the first time. This was, uh, I mean, as you can see 24 days ago. Uh, a little a little bit ago um and his chat was kind of um you know like critical of him a little bit too much maybe kind of like uh, i mean maybe i don't know if it's a, in a joking way i assume not because i've heard that the fruit berries chat can sometimes get a little bit too much um but uh, it's maybe somewhat reminiscent of what techno's chat used to be like where Techno's chat obviously was joking and being like, only second, only this. And then in Fruit's chat, it's just like, wow, this is supposed to be the best event player. Wow. Oh, oh he emoted during Disco Fever and then died three minutes later. It was because of the emote you threw, man. Like something like that. I, I haven't seen the chats because I was playing in the event. Either way, um, reminder to everyone uh, that, you know, the streamers you watch in events and just the event players in general are people. And there's a high chance that as long as they're not like a massive streamer, they will see your chat messages. So if you have an opinion, right? If you have an opinion that you think like, ah, oh, this guy did so bad, this guy sucks. Don't tell him that, okay? <laughs> Keep it to yourself. Make a little discord with your friends who would care about your opinion in that regard and go chat in there where the streamers can't see it, okay? Would much rather see people talk smack behind people's back in terms of uh, being good or bad at the event, then right to their face, because that hurts sometimes. If it's too much, it'll hurt, okay? So don't do that. Anyways, moving on. Um, <laughs> this is just a roller coaster of, uh, we've three posts in, it's a roller coaster of emotions. So we go from yippee to womp womp to freaking Owen getting married. Uh, congrats to Owen, by the way. I don't think I responded to the, or interacted with the tweets, but um, obviously, Owen is my friend, and uh, I'm uh, very happy for him, and I, I wish him the best. Shout out to Owen's Juice. Very nice. Uh, congratulations. All right. <laughs> Yippee. Can we, is it possible in like the near future to get a full uh, married men team? Husband, that would be husband. Husband team without it being Scott's boyfriends. Can we get a full husband team? Is it possible? Maybe. Uh, <laughs> All right, moving on. Um, <clears throat> which side are you on? I, I, I always love these posts because I feel like some of the people who make these memes don't actually know th the meaning behind uh, th 
the red and the blue. Either way, which side are you on? Uh, purpled, always lose dodgebolt, or Pizza Hut, never make it to dodgebolt. So, um... <laughs> Purpled officially titled as a blood and Pizza Hut is officially a crip. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Um, MCC players positive attitude tier list. Uh, oh yeah, this was pretty funny. Um, I don't know why. How does this work? How does this work? So top of the list is Sunshine and Rainbows. It's people who are always freaking awesome. Okay, they're always fantastic. And I can see for the most part, I mean, I kind of just agree. That's just a, yeah, that tier makes sense. Jester, I assume is someone who could be like good or bad sometimes, maybe? Then good times goes to good times with Scar, obviously. If you're on a team with Scar, you're always gonna be bound for some good times. Morale booster, I can agree with that uh, pretty, pretty much as well. They, they will always hype up their teammates, I think, for the most part, unless, well, Puns is debatable. If he's on a team with Tapnap, <laughs> maybe not, okay. But for the rest, uh, you know, they're, they're great. The W teammates, thumbs up. Good vibes only. Um, Sure. For the most part, Ludwig did say he wants to kill himself in SRT. So I don't know if you would consider that good vibes. I'd feel, I feel like that's kind of like L vibes, but you know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm slightly wrong. I wouldn't give a crap about that. Anyways, uh, loud. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. I feel like Shane should be in that tier. He's pretty loud. Uh, neutral, what is, what's it with neutral? It's just like people who kind of don't, they're just kind of there, maybe in terms of vibes, like they just don't, they don't express like positive emotions or negative ones. They're just kind of a husk, just playing the video game. Um, Cause I feel like Shane doesn't really fit that, <laughs> but I don't know. I mean, I don't really watch many of these people's POVs, I think. Connor, Connor definitely would be a, no. Man, Connor's an interesting one. <laughs> Connor will go from like, oh guys, I love Minecraft and Fortnite. I love Minecraft and Fortnite. And then uh, would go like, this game is the stupidest thing I've ever played. I freaking hate my life. I'm going to kill myself. Like it, he he will also, he's like a Ludwig. It's the same situation, which is why they should be on the same team with me and Shane. I'm just saying, throwing it out there. I've already done this like 10 times. Either way. Uh, <laughs> actually, change, change of mind. Okay. We need a... Uh, uh, MCC Underdogs 2, Ludwig Conrad's Pants with Sleepy and Super TF, absolutely banger team, okay, make it happen, I can actually probably pull that off uh, for MCC, hey Scott, hit my line, I'll do it, okay, if you put me in, <laughs> uh, trade, trade offer, uh, actually, I'll, I'd probably want to insert myself on that team, let's keep it real, uh, ah, frick, Ludwig's the only one I don't know, so uh, me, me, Sleepy, Super TF, and Conrad's Pants, bang our team, okay? Anyways, I completely distracted myself from the topic of this tear list. Uh, situational, is that people who get pissed off sometimes? I guess that could maybe be uh, true. And then kind of moody, and then next page, Glum, whatever, and then uh, Jardon. <laughs> What's all with Jordan? What did he do? <laughs> what is he? What is it? Because he said fork in a uh, ticket to your side. Is that it? Is that the? Why is Mayor of Yap Town there? That would be me, Loki. Let's keep it real. I've been called a yapper too many times. I'd probably be in Mayor of Yap Town. Um, <laughs> interesting though. Of course, Joel included this in his Hermitcraft episode. Just going to pop this here. Oh, the fact that Joel was above Shane. That's Shane on pur uh, purple, and then Joel in first. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm, I guess, yeah. Uh, I mean, Joel really just uh, holding on to that moment that he completely destroyed Shane in wh whatever it was, uh, MCC's the stinky mode, uh, April Fool's, that one. Uh, <laughs> so, hey, uh, we'll just ignore the other, like, ten times that Shane outplaced uh, Smallish Beans, you know, it's fine. Um, w Joel though, uh, keep keep trolling Shane. Remind him that he is uh, bad. He he loves that. He he's a, he's a big fan. Okay. Um, yep. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Super out of trouble. Please show. Uh, so yeah, this um, is the. Let me pause the music. I feel like it's that's not the. Did I just pause the fire? Whatever. Pausing the music just because it feels a, bit, a little bit silly if I'm talking about a serious topic and then there's freaking Mario Odyssey uh, Halloween music in the background. Anyways, uh, if you are not on Twitter, you wouldn't know about this, but Shelby Shovel 
came out um, talking about uh, an abuse situation um, where she didn't name the person, but we eventually found out that it was Wilbur Soot. And um, Wilbur also ended up responding and not it was not a good response. And uh, yeah, I won't really comment on it because I don't really like being involved with drama or situations. I don't want to insert myself. I also feel like it's not my place. I don't really know Shelby. I don't know Wilbur, point blank. Just not really my place to talk about. If anyone's curious though, obviously I am in support of Shelby. Uh, I just didn't want to talk about it on Twitter. So yeah, uh, heads up for anyone who's not on Twitter. And if you did not know, Wilbur, not a great person. <laughs> not even that. Not a good guy. Uh, we'll probably never see him show up in what MCC or anything related to that. Anyways, just wanted to mention that so everyone knows. Moving on. Next post. Uh, happy birthday puns. I'm literally a month late. Also, I think Hannah's birthday is today or yesterday. Uh, happy birthday to Hannah XX Rose and also happy month late birthday to puns. Uh, happy birthday. Next up. This sub needs some memes. So here's a starter pack. MCC starter pack. That's too many texts to look at. Uh, so, uh, can't be asked. Sorry. I'm sure this is a great post though. Every team has like a little explanation to it. Like purple being the fire breath man team. He's been on that color like three times. Put, put him on like, hold up. Sorry. My brain is like doing freaking hula hoops in my, uh, whatever It's bouncing around look crazy. What team colors has Shane not been on? Was it, isn't it? So what lime green, uh, aqua and pink. I think, I think those are the ones. I think that's the only ones he's missing. I could be wrong. Um, I would love to see a fire breath mid appearance on either of those four team colors, lime green, aqua or pink. Green and pink might be a little difficult unless Shane has an absolute banger team, but surely lime and aqua should be easy peasy. Put him with some hermits on aqua. That's like the classic. Give him actually who if, if we're still doing strong team balancing, fire breath man, H bomb and two hermits, is fire even smallish beans actually even better smallish beans fire breath man smallish beans two hermits one of those hermits being like a new one or or whatnot like uh doc that'd be kind of sick yeah hold up i'm cooking right now aqua team mcc 30 should i i'm gonna probably make a team prediction video at some point aqua team mcc 36 okay hear me out fire breath man smallish beans doc m77 and like cub fan or like impulse? Oh, impulse. Put impulse on there. All right. Scott, take notes. He's not. He's not watching this video. But take notes, okay? <laughs> Next up is Sapnap real? There's been much discussion about whether or not Sapnap has had too many overpowered teams. But are we sure Sapnap actually exists? Deep fake technology is getting wild these days, and it's entirely possible that the streamer we know as Sapnap is actually just some random guy, random guy's facial features deep faked onto JC the caster with a sophisticated voice changer. I think this issue has, it, uh, I think this issue has to be re resolved before we can even approach the idea of team balancing. Hmm. You bring a f you bring up a fair argument here, buddy. Okay, I'm Sparkles Saga official. Are you related to Captain Sparkles? Are you the Feds? Because uh, you might be onto something here. Is Sapnap real? Uh, look, the the person I saw at TwitchCon who who in quotations might be Sapnap could have been uh, a doppelganger. It could have been maybe that is what JC the Caster looks like. Who knows? Um, so I'm not convinced. I think you bring up a fair argument. And uh, I think we should investigate ASAP. Next up, <laughs> MCC players that live together slash roommates updated. Puns lives with George Sapnap and Dream? Is that since when? As of 12 days ago? Is that true? They live together? I thought it was just George Sapnap and Dream. Whatever. Whatever, you know. Uh. <laughs> That's that's cool though. That's very cool. Um, sorry. <sighs> For the yard. Either way. Um, next up, I mean, you also have Kara and Jordan. This was recent, I think. Right? Either way, yeah. 
very cool. Gucky and Amy makes sense. Wally and Perp makes. I mean, we knew about that, yeah. Uh, Velvet and Ant makes sense. Joel and Lizzie, you'd hope so that they at least live together. I, how long has it been now? I don't freaking know. I haven't li been paying attention, but I feel like that would make sense if they live together. Yeah. Uh, Zeus and Sasha makes sense, and then Martin and I think that's. Uh, now for now, forgive me if I if I say this uh, in incorrect. Is it Nettie plays Nelly plays or something like that? It's, it's someone who ha we haven't seen an MCC in a while. But that also makes sense that they would live together because I think, yeah, either way. Good, good post. Next up, everyone's going insane but right now, but this was a cool event for the MCC years. Your witness for MCL better with block are Small Ant, Fruitberry, Feinberg, Meow Munified in the Little Wood. Oh, what's the next post? Oh yeah, there was, this was an interesting event. I don't think I talked about the results of this event, right? But, um, yeah, very, very cool event. I mean, the teams are pretty interesting for sure. Um, I'm curious to see if some of these people would be people that you would see appear in you know, like an, an MCC or a Block Wars. I think Block Wars is probably more likely due to the variety that's already there. But I, I'd be down to see some uh, some of these people in, in an MCC. Like the Overwatch people would be kind of cool. Uh, or even like Pack. I just don't know if, if they'd be down for it. Or Mooney. Put Mooney in MCC. It'd be funny, okay? It'd be Freaking awesome. <laughs> Put Meow Modified in MCC. Look, would it make sense? Hey, just give give them this team without Smant. Or with Smant instead of like, uh, Feinberg? And you got a banger on your hands, okay? Anyways, moving on. MCC participants in MCL Minecraft League. Uh, oh. Well, here you go. Oh, oh. <sighs> Sorry for yawning. I haven't been this energetic in like two months. Uh, <laughs> anyways, um, yeah, some crazy teams. These were like two of the better teams, I'm pretty sure. Uh, no, never mind. Uh, this felt like two of the better teams at least. But um, yeah, Sage Mommy also an interesting person potentially. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, I already looked at these teams, but very nice, very nice teams indeed. Very nice. Happy birthday, Jordan. Happy birthday, Jordan. As if. I mean, I'm two weeks late and a half, two and a half weeks late, but happy birthday to Jordan. Um, now, I won't, uh, I, yeah, and that's it. Happy, I was going to say happy certain age, but I don't know how old Jordan is. So happy birthday. Uh, when you see a post of the subreddit with 60 plus comments, please give your opinions in not a rude way. Uh-oh. 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 Just don't ask for opinions on the MCC subreddit. You're not gonna get what you want, okay? You're not gonna get what you ask for. Unless you make like a really cool team prediction, then they'll be like, oh my God, this is the best thing I've ever seen. Oh my God. That That's the reaction that you would get if you do it, okay? Anyways, tier list based on how many times someone has outplaced purpled. purpled. Six, uh, oh my God. Uh, five up, uh, and what, games? Uh, what? When did 5up outplays purpled? Was it MCC 20? Or whenever purpled played first? I feel like that would have been MCC 20 because that's like the only one that would make sense. Respectful. Uh, yeah, respectfully. <laughs> and that's insane though. Fruitberries with six. That's you know, there's no there's, there's a very little competition, to say the least. H bomb's reaction to Gumi's parkour and sense of time the sense of time of MCC 33. What did Gumi do in MCC 33 parkour? Very nice. How do you make that? Oh, okay, nice. Good. Okay. Why is he so shocked? V Gumi has the goat. She just got 11th in Black Wars. We're gonna ignore that that was one place above me, but she's the goat. Work in progress of MCC participants. I wonder where you started. Huh. Maybe there's a little correlation between these players. Maybe they all happen to be good at the game. Also, where, where are Purple's eyes? Oh my god, he's blind. Fix him. Please. He can't see. How is he meant to place uh, first individual now? He's he's blind. Give him back his vision. All right, next up. And they played most Don Cannons too. People complaining about Purple not getting benched enough this season. FBM and Pete. <laughs> Will they know? Maybe Scott's just not taking notes, okay? Maybe he's just like, look, 
Let's put Perpold in the front line. Just give him good teams so he has a good score so people complain about him. That's my way to put FBM and Pizza Hut in the event more. That's that, that's definitely what happened. No, but uh, I actually don't know. I feel like the thing with Shane and Pete compared to Perpold is they... They're still very good players, but they are at least marginally worse and easier to incorporate into teams, I think. Purple probably doesn't actually care about who he's teamed with, but because he is so good, there are certain people he can't be teamed with because it would just simply be too, like, it would not be fair, you know? So, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> moving on. MCC active S tiers as gym leaders. Pizza Hut, Dragon, okay. I think Pete would make sense as a dragon type gym leader. Fruitberry's grass. He is a silly little grass guy. I'll show. Uh, yeah, that no, he just is a silly little green grass guy. I think that just makes sense. Pete dragon. Yeah, Pete dragon. I mean, look, my my thought process here. I don't know if your top th thought process is the same, but there's slimes in Dragon Quest, and that's drag. So and it's pizza slime. So that makes sense. Fruit berries is fruit, um, and the uh, fruits are grass. Next up, Sapnap. He that he that makes sense because Fire Breath Man's probably the fire one, if I had to guess. Okay, we're not there yet. Um, I mean, Sapnap has like a little thing uh, around his head. He looks like a fighter. The, what is it? Uh, the bandana. He is a bandana, and that's like a fighter thing. So that's kind of it. I mean, Shane also does that. Shane is just a Sapnap copy. Let's keep it real, guys. Anyways. <laughs> Um, Sabdap has my favorite, but oh, also Panda. He has something with pandas, right? Because he's gonna, I was gonna say, he has almost my favorite Pokemon on this team, which is, uh, my favorite Pokemon's Pancham, and he has, uh, Pangoro, so, pretty cool. Next up, Pun's Steel, is that just because he has a chain? Or what? Is there, like, what's the, it kind of works though, it kind of makes sense. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it does make sense. I feel like he, he could also have, like, flying, I don't know why, but I feel like flying would fit him. Um, purple to poison. That's just because he's purple. <laughs> and, and honestly, you're you're right for that. No, you're 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 onto something. You could give him like ghost, um, because he uh, kill uh, kills people in Minecraft. I don't know. Um, or poison. Well, poison would imply toxic. Purple's nice nah, toxic sometimes. Just a little bit. Just just a tad. Uh, <laughs> Jojo solos water. Um. Yeah, I could, I mean, this, sure, yeah, this could work. I think, I think Jojo could be a water type gym leader. Yeah, that, that could work. Ant Frost Dark? Well, that's just because it has cats. Surely, right? That's just because it has two cats. In which case, you could have given him an Incineroar. I think that's a dark type. That's a cat. Where's the Incineroar? Frick, Zoroark. Look, Zoroark's a cool Pokemon, but like, give him an Incineroar and you're onto something, okay? It's a missed opportunity. Let's keep it a buck, unless Shane has an Incineroar. Okay, he does not, but he is fire type, which makes sense because he's fire breath man. Um, a score bunny, I think. No, that's the no, that's the first stage. What is the freaking evolution called? Score bunny turns into R Raboot, into uh, that one. Um, forgot its name. <laughs> this this bunny looking thing that kicks that that is very much fire breath man energy okay he would kick things because he's a little child uh arcanine makes sense because it's like gen one pokemon shane actually knows what that one is and then talon flames just a good pokemon so sure and it's a bird it's kind of it, it it's close enough to an eagle i think it's a hawk maybe i don't freaking know but it's kind of american and shane is very american so maybe uh, Score Buddy definitely does not give off American vibes. He's literally a Pokemon from the UK. And Arcanine, sure. But the talent, yeah, this is good. Anyways, next up. Um, had to be said, the sub during an MCC season. Detail, uh, detail analysis and hilarious memes. The sub between seasons. Goats and stuff. Uh, sure. I mean, that's kind of why people stop using the MCC Reddit uh, when when there's no MCCs, right? Anyways, uh, community banner is finally here. That's a lot of, that's a lot of people. How many people? Oh, that's smaller. Uh, that's a lot of people. I like this. Uh, wasn't this like fan art by different people? Cause yeah, there's different styles. Like fan art made by different people and it's all just kind of incorporated. 
That's pretty cool. I like that. That's pretty tight. Uh, where is Fire Breath Man? I wonder what pillar they gave him. Was it purple? Oh, I give him blue. That makes sense. Cool post. Good post. Shout out to the people who made art. Very nice. Good. Good job. Good job. Good. Nice. While our beloved Mefs is probably not returning to MCC. Also, let me skip this song. It's been like three minutes. Uh, while our beloved uh, beloved Mefs is probably not returning to MCC, he's doing another event. Uh, I played this, I think. No, I didn't. Did I? I don't remember. I might have. I don't know. Anyways, uh, Mefs is in a t uh, on a team with Bob Lou, Andres, and Vitalisy. Very interesting team. Very, very fun team. Um, yeah. Do we... Uh, yeah, cool. Anyways. Sapnap. Sapnap without face cam. Sapnap with face cam. Sapnap with face... Without face cam is just better than Sapnap with face cam. Uh, I'll, at least on average. <laughs> Look, it's because Sapnap's not real. When he turns on the face cam, that's a different person. That's not Sapnap, okay? That is... I, I can't leak that, but that's not Sapnap. That's not the real one. Moving on. Uh, Meltdown was wild. Punts and Sapnap are doing an MCC 33. Gumi and Punk. Hmm? Mm, yeah. Um, that's what I meant with, with puns. Look, puns, W teammate. Just not in combo with Sapnap. Just don't put him on the same team. Poor, poor Gumi and Punk. Look, it's like... Actually, there's not really a comparison. It's just arguing. Next up, <laughs> tear list based on how many times someone has outplaced Pizza Hut, not including non-canon. Sapnap with a 10. Oh, dirt. Okay. I was going to say, who's Dirt Block? Dirt Block is um, a certain... Uh, a certain uh, cancelled person who I made a video about. And then... Read, removed that video, not deleted it, but it's unlisted. Because it, I don't want that to be my most popular video. But that's what Dirt Block refers to. And if anyone's curious, that's that's what it, I just wanted to explain it because I'm pretty sure that's the case, but I could be wrong. Um, this is the person who said Quackity is better than Sapnap. There you go. There's your answer. And just like that, we return to the dark times. Goat debate. Let me guess your home. It was I fell in the baby, and it was literally the exact yeah. Guys, remember something? These are real people. Yep, already talked about that. MCC players in Pandora's box. There were MCC players in Pandora's box, guys. Oh my god. No way. All the MCC players in Pandora's box. Isn't that crazy? All of these people who were in MCC were in Pandora's box. What? That's crazy. They look so 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 slay, though. They look so good. And, and freaking, they look so hot. What? Especially the red one. Oh my god. Oh my god, who did who did that person's hair? I sure I don't know. Anyways, uh <laughs> I'm I'm freaking tripping. Next up, uh why Phil's in Minecraft is the best micro player. We don't even need an explanation. You're just right. you you are just correct. It doesn't matter what you say, you're right. That is just factually correct. Happy birthday, Catherine Elizabeth. Three weeks late, but happy birthday. You get the Wolfie stamp of approval as well for being born. Whatever that means. Uh <laughs> Which MCC player has the most top 10 placements? Non-canon, not included. Uh, it, I mean, the answer is Pizza Hut. That's about as much as we need. The answer is just Pizza Hut. Next up, MCC 2 tournament, the upcoming finals. Uh, the upcoming finals is, what is it? Uh, uh, Pizza Hut and Green versus H-Bomb and Offhand Torch. I'm pretty sure Pete and Green won that. I, I could be wrong. I think I saw a post like that. MCC participants in a uh, Hoplite Duos tourney. Uh, Ant Frost, Shane, Fruits, Jojo, Puns, Kratzy, Sapnap, Hannah, Wisp, and Bitzel. Cool. I don't think any of these people ended up winning. I think it was Feinberg who won? I don't know. Um, let's see. I think we're going to write it off pretty soon. No, our 100k. I guess the sub dropped below 100k members. Blamp, blamp. <laughs> Joel, what is this? What, what is what? This is like the purge we, what's, what happened? Skins, you, these are just skins. What's the problem? One of them is pink and one of them is cyan or aqua. I don't see the problem. Uh, MCC doer tournaments and more things. MCC participants in block Wars rookies. This is where we ended off, okay? Cause I've decided because this is the one event that I'm responsible for. Um, yeah, purple team, I mean, this event also already happened, but purple team had Gumi, Hannah, and Kara from MCC, very nice. Um, 
Then pink team had fruit berry. Then yellow team had five up. And then Scarlet Shark had sneak snack. What? No way. Um, yeah, this is, I mean, this is a cool event. If you want to watch the review for Block Wars Rookies and you're still here and you haven't watched it already, check the channel yesterday, yes, uh, upload from uh, yesterday, the day before this video. Go watch it. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll see you all later. Goodbye.